Hey, welcome guys. Do you know where we are right now? Yeah, we are in Bali. And Bali is awesome. We're having a fantastic time. We are. What's the hint for today? The, our topic for today is spiritual development. Spiritual development. Mm. Um, yeah, so what we want to do is uh, to give you a little bit of um, a couple of ideas on <laughs> what you can do if you want to uh, tap into your spiritual evolution, if that means anything for, for, for you. And very often you are in life and you're looking for direction and uh, you don't know where to start. Mm. You're fed up with your life, you had enough, your corporate job doesn't satisfy you anymore and you go like, what's the meaning of life? What where am to I going to do next? Where to begin? So, what did you start? Like, what, you, are you a spiritual person? I am. I'm a very spiritual person. Are you religious? No. What's the difference between religious and spiritual? For me, religious is more... Um, I was religious, but religious for me was being a part of the church and this was like the community environment, but something a lot of the teachings I didn't agree with. Spirituality mm. for me is what I believe in in my core, mm. that I am a part of this universe, this oneness of us all. But that started in baby steps. And for me, that started maybe with, Bud I, with Buddhism. Buddhism. When I, when I started, when I came across Buddhism in Korea, this is where my spirituality then opened up and started to blossom with some yoga also and, and a deepening of my yoga practice. Mm. But those, those are religions, right? Buddhism is a religion. It's a philosophy. It's a philosophy? Yeah, I not believe it is a philosophy, not oh, no. a religion. Not for you. Not for me, it's a philosophy. It's okay. a way of life, it's a way to lead your life, it's a way of... Um, it, it's open to interpretation also, but for me it's much more philosophy of, you know, the, of karma, of, of what you are in yourself and you, what you give in the world is what you get back mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. So for me this is what a lot of Buddhist philosophy is about. Mm -hmm. Not so much the religion is very much we have these rules, these regulations, follow them, everything. Remember you're a sinner. Remember you're always a sinner. <laughs> Christianity. So, yeah. No sweet. Okay, so somebody's out there mm. and they're a bit stuck. You have one word or advice, one idea. What, what would you tell them? What, what can, where can, can they start? I... <clears throat> I would say start with the breath. So just start with closing your eyes, breathing, and seeing what happens. Just That's simple. Just sit down, take a few moments, a few minutes, sit down, breathe, be present, maybe take yourself into nature and feel what happens, feel connection. Just breathing. Breathing. Any f special form of breathing? No, everybody can do. Yeah. Just breathing. to breathe. Close your eyes, breathe. Go into nature, breathe, feel connection, feel your earth, feel the earth below you, feel the sky above you, and simply be. Mm. This is my advice. Everyone can do it. Fantastic. And you? What um, advice do you have? No, the breathing is a good one. That's where oh. it starts us very often. Um, so many ways, so many things. Yeah. We'll be back soon with more. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>